Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how the speech controller works on the MacBook. And the speech controller is a built-in accessibility feature that's available on all Apple devices. But again, I'm going to show you how it works on the Mac. And I'm going to talk through an educational lens and how this feature can benefit our students. So let's go ahead and get started and enable the speech controller. We come down to system settings. On the left, we find accessibility. And then on the right, we go to spoken content. Spoken content is Apple's read aloud feature in that it reads content out loud, also known to a lot of people as text to speech. So we're going to come to spoken content, open it up, and we're going to come and make sure that speak selection is on. That's the part that reads things out loud. So we'll toggle that on and then we'll come to the eye. This takes us to more options here. We're going to come down to the speech controller. The speech controller has three options, never, automatically, or always. I'm going to show you how each of those work and look as we go through here. I'm going to switch it to always so you can see it. Up popped my speech controller. The basic functions here are play, stop. We can go forward in our document. We can go back into our document if we need to hear something read again. We can come over to the rabbit and it will speed up the speaking rate. We can come over to the turtle and it will slow it down. And as you noticed, you can move this around. So let's talk about benefits. So for our students, who utilize spoken content or text-to-speech a lot, I often recommend that they just try this. And again, this is for you to see what might work best for your students. So try it out with them. Try out all three options of the speech controller with them and see what works best for them. So if they use it a lot, this just might be more efficient way to turn it on, to enable it, all of those good things. Okay, the other reason that it might be beneficial for some of our students is for those who have motoric difficulties. So it just makes it easier for them to access the spoken content feature. Let's go ahead and show you how this works. We're going to start with always. You see it's on and you see right now this controller says system settings. That's where it's going to read my content from. But if I come over here, I have a document in pages. If you noticed, it changed to pages right there, you guys. Now I know what it's going to read from. I can move it here out of my way. If I push play right now, it's going to read the entire document out loud. I'm going to demo how that sounds. Accessibility demo. This document will be. Okay, that's how the speech controller works when you have it set to always. It's just here and it will switch over according to what apps I go in and out of. So let's go back to system settings here and we're going to come back to speak selection, find our show controller. I'm going to switch it over to automatically to show you what this looks like. You can guess what never looks like, right? But automatically watch here to the left to see what happens to my controller. It took it off the screen. And now I'm going to show you how to enable that when you're in a document that you want read out loud. So we're going to say OK and come back into this pages document. No speech controller because now it is set on automatically. That means once you decide that you want something read out loud here, I'm going to highlight it, do my option escape. Accessibility demo. This and up popped the speech controller, which allows me then to stop and do all of those features. So it's not on all the time. It's only on when you've enabled through option escape to have something read. Okay. And then the never, let's go to that and change it to never and the speech controller goes away. If I come back into my pages document here, no matter if I highlight something and hit option escape, the speech controller won't come on. So that is how you come down here to system settings. You come over to accessibility, come to your spoken content from here, and this is how you can turn your speech controller on. I hope this video was helpful and thanks so much for watching.